Chef Buck here and today we're going to whip up some cauliflower hummus. Going to throw it together. Now usually when you think of regular old hummus you think of chickpeas. But we're going to use some great northern beans. You can use any kind of white bean, this or cannellini or chickpeas. But I think that uh, the great northern beans and the cannellini beans are a little creamier. So when you're bringing uh, cauliflower into the mix, you know, that extra creaminess is going to help because cauliflower is like a decreamer. It's the opposite of creamy. Now you are going to need a handy dandy food processing apparatus. And we're going to throw our beans in there. You want to rinse and drain them, otherwise it's going to be too wet. This is the last batch I made right here of cauliflower hummus. And this was a little too wet, although it didn't turn out too bad, you know, after it was in the fridge but you have to be mindful of your moisture because there's a lot of moisture in cauliflower. Now this is some cauliflower that I've already cleaned up. Now I made some batches before and I used a lot of the stem because it's a great way to use up the cauliflower stems making cauliflower hummus. But I'm just gonna throw these big pieces in here and I'm gonna add uh, just about as much cauliflower as I did beans. You want it kind of a half and half mixture. Now some recipes for cauliflower hummus you know, call for no beans. What? Exactly. I mean, what's wrong with beans? I mean, if you take the beans out of the hummus, it's like a vegetable dip, which is fine. But it's not hummus, right? It's not hummus. Beans are your buddy. And they add the creaminess to the hummus. Once you take the beans out, you know, it's a house of cards. So other than the cauliflower, this is just going to be like regular old hummus, except for we're going to add a little bit more than we usually would salt to taste, and then I got some tahini. Now this is the only kind of tahini I could find at our grocery store. I almost always see this kind of tahini everywhere I go, but usually you can find all kinds of tahini. Like when you go in the grocery store, if you go look in the health food section, you'll find tahini. If you go and look in the uh, exotic imported food section, you'll find tahini. Sometimes if you go look at the peanut butter, you'll find tahini. And wherever you go and look, it'll be a different price, you know, so shop around. You know, if you find tahini over in the health food section, boom, the price will be jacked up. So go look in the ethnic food section or just shop around until you find the right kind. But this is the only kind I could find. And it's good, but it's got this kind of top. And I don't like that. I like it in a jar. But whatever kind of tahini you get is going to be the right tahini, unless it's in this can. But what is tahini? It's just sesame seeds that just been roasted and pureed. But this is gonna add great taste and great creaminess. So I'm gonna put about three heaping spoonfuls in here and then a little bit of olive oil. And this is a nice thick olive oil. Uh, what is it, a first pressed, expensive, luxurious olive oil. Garlic to taste, but don't go crazy on the garlic because that flavor will hang around. I mean, I love garlic, but even I try to not go too crazy on it. Because as garlicky as it is today, it might be uh, post-haste garlicky tomorrow. Now you can put some vinegar in here if you don't have uh, fresh lemon juice. But I got some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Since I used fresh lemon, I got a little bit of the zest too. Now my last batch of hummus I made was kind of plain Jane. So I'm going to jazz this batch up here a little bit. This is just a spice mix with some red pepper flakes. Now you can put any kind of peppers in here you want. You can put some pickled jalapenos, you can put some hot sauce, pizzazz it up like that, but you're going to be adding moisture. I like to use a dry spice mix for this, so I'm not adding any extra moisture into my hummus, so it's not overly wet. So that's it. We got everything we need in there. So now we just have to Dr. Frankenstein the situation and add a little electricity. And we just want to blend it away until it's smoothie smootherson. Now if you do it and it's too thin, you can just add a little bit more beans in there. Or if it's too thick, you can throw a little bit more olive oil in there, some more tahini, or a little bit of water. Just a drizzle drazzle of water if you need to. That's super duper fantastico hummus on steroids with a little bit of cauliflower. It's just like regular hummus but better. But if it's just like regular hummus, why do you want to put cauliflower in there? Why do you want to go through all that trouble? Because cauliflower. It's good for you. I've had a number of folks comment 
on my last few videos that I'm looking a little skinnier. And it's because of stuff like this here. And because I've cut down on my cookie consumption by almost 20%. Cauliflower hummus, muy fantastico. You could throw it on a sandwich, on a pita, do a cracker thing, toss it in a salad. You can make a... One thing that we've been doing is we've been taking just romaine lettuce leaves. You know, and plastering them with some hummus, putting some sardines and some... Uh, what else do we put on there? Capers. And then we eat them like it's a sandwich. Like we're a couple of hippie health nuts. I mean, there's nothing you can't do with hummus. You could stucco your house. You could make one of those masks, you know, that ladies do at the uh, beauty parlor. You could hummus your face. So what's the difference between uh, cauliflower hummus and regular hummus? In your masterful opinion. Well, in this instance, you just added a superfood to a comfort food. Hummus is a comfort food? Mm -hmm. I don't know if she understands the definition of comfort food. That is a comfort food. There's sweet comfort foods and there's savory comfort foods. Comfort food. <laughs> you can put this on chips. You're saying chips aren't comfort Yeah, yeah, food. yeah. You can, put, you can put hummus on comfort food. Okay. Now, if you want to check out this recipe, I'll have it written down below. There's also a link down there. You can go to myfoodchannel.com, check out the entire hummus universe that we have over there, which uh, is this recipe and then a plain hummus recipe. <laughs> uh, but thanks for watching and uh, subscribing and blah, blah, blah. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.